Hi, it's Kelly here, and it is, if you're watching this video, you're into electroculture, and I'm going to show you how to make your electroculture work even better than, than it has been in the past. Uh, a couple of little tips to, to assist you with that. Um, and then I'm also going to show you a way that you can, in one minute, you can set up something that will cover your entire garden or your entire farm and the 10 farms around. One minute, promise. So you're gonna stick around for this. Uh, first thing I wanna do is to show you it in Lakovsky's book, um, how he used wood and copper. And that's very important because the wood acts as an insulator that smooths out the energy, the frequencies. So instead of having a rough static, it's going to smooth it out. Just like in a radio, you know, you, you got that, you've got the insulator in there, to tune it in. So instead of having static, it smooths it. So the sound, you know, the music sounds beautiful. And here's an example in his book of some plants. He infected the plants uh, with with some kind of disease. He called it a cancer. And uh, you can see the one in the middle, you might see about just below the leaves, you can see a metal ring going around there, a copper ring that's open on one end, attached to a piece of wood. And if you'll notice, the copper isn't even in the ground. See, because it's a frequency that's doing this. And when you, when you do it with combined, that way you get the effect that you want. And that plant, by the way, he kept that plant, and, and there's another picture in there that things like three or four feet high. Um, all the other plants died. They didn't have the copper ring around it. Um, now the second thing you want to do, to make it even stronger, and this comes from Slim Sperling, who was the developer of, of uh, the tensor rings. And that is, is you want to braid your copper. So here is an example of a globe. So it's made up of four rings, and then it has a base ring on it as well, and, some, and then a thing on the inside. Um, but it, you see the rings there? Um, what that does is that when the electrons are going across, if it's smooth, they just travel down uninterrupted right through. But here, when it's braided, you get electrons coming off all over the place which is great because it creates different frequencies because depending where that electron comes back, it sets up another a different frequency. So if your braided wire is, uh, say it has 100 twists in it, just as an example, it has 100 factorial frequencies. That's 100 times 99 times 98, 97, 96, 95, all the way down to one. Pull out your, uh, your your computer and get an online calculator. Start multiplying those numbers. You'll see how fast they add up. It gets to be a huge into the millions, billions, trillions, uh, and far beyond of different frequencies. And that's what the sun gives us. It gives us an unlimited number of frequencies. So we want to try to duplicate that as much as possible. And you do that simply by braiding the copper. So if you decide that you just want to do the electric culture the old-fashioned way, uh, that's how you do it. Two things. You put the, the wood and touching the copper. And you braid the copper. Those two things. Now I want to show you how you can multiply the effect by a thousand or a million gazillion. Uh, and this energy will go through mountains, walls, and windows. You can set it up inside your house. Plug it in, and away you go. When Lakowski uh, developed his multi-wave oscillator, like you saw that ring there, well, he, he, he then added a series of rings. You see they're open on alternating sides, and that's the design right there. And he used that, and he had people sit in between them, and they would have their cancer go away, or one lady lost 200 pounds, all kinds of things. He mentions on the last page of his book, you know, how it helps horses and, so, and a bunch of other animals. So 
and he he electrified it. Uh, but you, you'd have to sit in between it, which that's not, not real practical when you're trying to do a you know uh, you know outside you know, the whole thing. So anyway, he said in his book if he added movement to it, it would increase the power, and that makes sense because you know, he he was working with Tesla when he when he developed this. And Tesla was the inventor of the hydroelectric plants. Uh, it's the spinning of the copper that changes a, a non-electrical river into enough power, say in Southern California, where you, you've got 40 million customers depending on, on the street lights and uh, everything, you know, everything, you know, lights, everything, so, and the, and the water. So, um, it was the movement of the copper that does that. So what I did, since Lakowski died before he could implement uh, his his thought that it would be stronger, I decided to do it for him. And here's an example of it. And this is about eight inches around, if it were round. And it has, as you can see, the Lakowski design in the center. It's a little thicker and therefore a little stronger. And then on the outside, and this particular one, it has Flanagan vortex design. And he came up with that. He, he meditated in a, in a pyramid. He was a child prodigy, got hired out of high school by the government. Um, and uh, he, he was meditating in the, in, in the chambers. And this, this design came to him. He may not be the first person to come up with that design. But in any case, there's about a thousand points here where they can jump one to the other. So now you got a factorial of about a thousand, right? So by this spinning, it can take care of everything, and particularly when it's oscillating. So you want to get an oscillating fan. Uh, looking for the name of this fan, I uh, bought it at Walmart. I think it's Polonis or something like that. And the discs I got uh, from a gentleman, his business is called Applicum, A-P-L-I-C-U-M. He has his own website, Applicum, or if you prefer uh, Etsy, you can go to Etsy. Prices are a little lower on Applicum. You just need to tell him that you want it designed with a, a 3 8 inch hole. I believe that's 9 millimeters in the center. So that you just, you just take the knob off the fan, put it on, tighten it up. One minute, you're ready to go. If you don't have the fan yet, you get the fan, and so then your, your whole time putting it all together is five minutes. Plug it in, it starts working instantly. And in fact, because it's spinning, it creates what are called um, uh, scalar waves, or uh, they're two dimensional uh, for torsion fields, or something like that. And they travel so fast that you could be here at the end of the galaxy at the same time. So that's a lot faster than the speed of light. Because I think it's about 100, 100 or 200 light years away, the, the end of the galaxy. So it gets there really fast. So you want to get these. You, you, this one's 8 inches. He, he also has made them with 12 inches. I know that because I've written to him. And, uh, and uh, there's even one 500 as well. This is uh, this one is 200. The next lighter size is 300, and he's got one on his website that I saw. It was 500, uh, and that would be about 20 inches, you know, uh, in in diameter. The bigger they are, it's much much stronger. So a 12 inch is about three times as strong as the 8 inch. I think the 8 inch cost me about 35 dollars three four years ago. Of course, prices of everything has gone up, so it's going to be up higher. And the bigger ones are going to cost more, obviously. But you can ask what the prices are. Start with the 8 inch, uh, or even get the 4 inch if that's all you can afford. You don't have to put a hole in those, just glue them on. And uh, with super glue, let it dry for you know, 3 or 4 hours. And, uh, and away you go. And then, and then you don't have to spend hours and hours coiling, coiling. Getting a piece of, you know, getting a stick or building something to go up, you know, because you want it to have a range of 200 feet. Well, this has got a range of, uh, well, it goes at least 25,000 miles because it goes around the block. It goes around the block, everywhere around the globe. Speed of light.
And if we get enough of these going on, you're going to find out that the butterflies love them, the bees, the, you know, the dragonflies, your pets, your livestock, your neighbors, everybody's going to be happy. You will find that people don't, they don't feel as irritated as they do now from all the electromagnetic fields, the repeating magnetic fields that we've been subjected to. So go to Applicum or go to Etsy and then look up Applicum uh, and, and then MWO or multi-wave oscillator and get yourself one or more of these things. You're gonna, you might start with one and you're going to want to get more, uh, which would be a great thing. And we can turn this world into a Garden of Eden at the speed of light and faster. Well, thank you for listening. Oh, by the way, you can find out more about this in my book, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? It's available on Amazon, seven ninety five. dollars um, And if you want to contribute to my chiropractic adjustments, I have a broken back and uh, with a metal rod, and I'm having health issues as a result of it because of stagnation in my feet and uh, I need to get my nerves working better. So if you want to contribute towards that, you can. It would know, be a real blessing. It's up to you. Uh, and thank you for listening either way. Uh, you take care, and God bless. Let me see here. We're going to turn this off.